Hello everyone, I'm the Meditator, and this is Breakthrough Flukes, a series which chronicles important medical breakthroughs discovered thanks to a little bit of good fortune. This week, we'll be talking about Dr. Arthur Voorhees, a surgical resident at Columbia University Medical Center, who revolutionized the surgery of abdominal aortic aneurysms. As a bit of background, an abdominal aortic aneurysm is a condition where a section of the aorta begins to expand due to a weakness in the vascular wall. If ruptured, the consequences can be fatal. When Voorhees came on the scene in 1947, the available procedures for the treatment of abdominal aortic aneurysms each came with big risks. Surgically removing the weakened segment was relatively easy. The issue was finding a way to close the gap and restore circulation. A variety of grafting materials were attempted, including aluminum, ivory, silver, and glass. However, the non-permeable and inflexible properties of these materials invariably led to clotting. The best option at the time was a transplanted graft from a medical center artery bank, though the grafts were in very short supply and did not maintain circulation for long. The area of surgery was desperately needed improvement. At the time, however, Voorhees' focus was elsewhere. He was looking to develop a procedure for replacing heart valves. It was during these experiments that serendipity worked its magic. One day, while preparing a test procedure on a live animal subject, he accidentally dropped a suture into its left ventricle. Voorhees made a note to conduct a follow-up autopsy and, when the time came a few months later, he was startled by what he saw. Stretched across the open chamber was a glistening cord. Voorhees realized that the heart's endocardium tissue had grown over the silk suture. This gave him an idea. A cloth graft could act as the perfect scaffold to close the gap following aortic aneurysm surgery. Over the next five years, Voorhees put his fine motor skills he developed as a surgeon to work in a unique way. He would sew different tubes out of different fabrics and implant them into the aortas of animal subjects. By 1950, he had developed a list of criteria required for a successful graft. The fabric had to be strong, inert, stable, porous enough to allow tissue growth through the lattice, and supple yet stiff enough for a fine needle to easily travel through it. He found a material that met all of these conditions from a company that produced sailcloth. Vinion N, a synthetic cloth made from PVC, was of no use to the company because it was too inert to take in a dye. However, this cloth would prove vital in saving the lives of thousands of people suffering from an aortic aneurysm. That is, until it was replaced by Dacron a polyester fiber that was easier to sew. Voorhees graft was first implemented into a human patient in 1953, and the procedure was repeated over the next year with a high degree of success. In 1954, Voorhees and the surgeon he was working under reported the results to the National Research Council. The reports were greeted by the medical community with excitement, and the graft served as the primary surgical treatment of aneurysms for decades. Nowadays, aneurysms and other vascular abnormalities can be treated without requiring surgery at all. This is thanks to coronary angioplasty, a technique which, as it turns out, was a breakthrough fluke in and of itself. We'll be talking about that next week, so stay tuned. If you would like to read about this week's episode in more detail, or just want to learn about other breakthrough flukes, you should check out the book Happy Accidents by Morton A. Myers. It's the resource where our series gets all of its stories, and honestly, it is a great read. I would highly recommend it. Until next time, I am the meditator, and this is Breakthrough Flukes. Catch you guys later.